What is up, you lovely lot? Welcome back to the channel. It's two pound coin hunt time. We've got 500 pounds in bagged up bags from the post office. Been a while since we've had one of these, so let's get into it and see what luck it brings us. In general, we do prefer the bagged up bags, but you never know what could be in here. It could be somebody cashing in a whole collection or anything. You never know, you never know. And we have had some pretty good hunts out of these sort of bags previously so we won't be too disheartened at least until we open a few bags and see if we find anything <laughs> Oop. anything in bag number one? Oh no not a good start doesn't necessarily mean anything though as we well know there we go there's something in number two it's the VE day 60th anniversary really common one that one though but at least it's something We will, of course, go through and double check all of these coins after the hunt. Wow, look at the state of that. What has happened there? <laughs> That's been taken out and put back in and beaten up and God knows. Wow. Not really what we want to be finding. And nothing in that one either. Yeah, but we will be double checking all of the coins in case we miss anything and checking for all these various errors that you can find. There's a commemorative. It's the abolition of the slave trade from 2007. Big scratch on that one though. Definitely damage. And on this side. We do have some... Oh. There's the gunpowder plots. Again, it's a pretty common one. At least we're finding a few bits. We do have some questions from previous videos to get into, as usual. And today's questions are from this video. Today's videos are from this question. There's another abolition of the slave trade. will be something. Shakespeare tragedies. We'll check that edge inscription. What a piece of work is a man. So that's the correct one. And we will put this down in the keepers section. They are still going for a bit more than face value. It is a bit of an ongoing debate whether they are worth keeping or not. Um, but yeah, I'll let you decide for yourself. <laughs> There's another gunpowder plot. And we have another Jodie Clark portrait here. So what will this be? It's another Shakespeare tragedies. Again, correct edge inscription. Of course, looking for the edge inscription that says for king and country, which is that fairly scarce um, edge error mix up from the army centenary. We've never found one. Still hoping that one day we might. Chinese 2015 and our third abolition of the slave trade. So comments from the questions. There we go, there's the army centenary. Or questions from the comments. What is with me mixing words up today? <laughs> and we have one from Deborah Dan. Deborah says, hi laughter, love your videos. I have a question. With the new restrike sets coming, Will there be single bunk coins available or just in sets? I think they will be probably just in the sets. I mean, there's every chance people will be splitting the sets up in some way and selling individual coins on eBay, perhaps. They might sell them individually. I doubt it, though. I would imagine it will be in the same style as the 50 years of the 50p. There we go, there's another VE day anniversary. Um, of course, I would presume that you will be able to get the separate blue carded ones from Westminster, but not even separate in fact, because they will, again, probably sell that as a set, I would assume. There's another Army Centenary. But I don't think they plan to have individual bunk packs for each one. There's a fake. First fake of the day, hopefully the last. 
not what we want to be finding. And on that note, we have a question from Mater's Workshop. Great finds today. How are so many fake coins able to slip through the cracks at the bank? Well, I mean, at the post office or in these bagged up bags, as long as the weight's correct, and you people paying a load of them at once, I guess it's pretty hard to detect. Um, when it comes to the ones which make it through the coin machines at the cash centers, well, that is a good question. And I guess the answer is that the machines aren't good enough at picking out the fakes because they do make it through. Certain types make it through the, the cash center and come back out in the sealed bags. There's another army of centenary. And another one. So yeah, it is an issue. The amount we find, and obviously we are a drop in the ocean of the amount of coins out there. So extrapolate them numbers. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of fake two pound coins out there. There's a Charles Darwin. Quite nice condition as well from 2009 yeah really nice condition we may have to keep that just because it's so nice hasn't seen much circulation at all not generally a keeper um, but not easy to find either one of those that we do see less often now what have we got here? Yet another Shakespeare tragedies. Edge error? No. Oh, nice. There's a keeper, Robert Burns. One of those just above face value, not worth a fortune, but worth keeping in my opinion. Again, becoming more scarce, harder to find. keep going we've got another question from the comment section oh i saw for king and country there can you imagine if that's a shakespeare tragedies no it's not shame <laughs> another army centenary there's another gunpowder plot as well finding a lot of the same coins here that's three gunpowder plots three abolition and slave trade five army centenary Two V Day and three tragedies. There's an act of union. 300 years of union between Scotland and England. It's another fairly common one. But another that you've got to check for that die rotation. Well, that's a point on these, isn't it? These have got a rotation now, have they? Have a quick check. I may have already flipped them all over. You're all shouting at your screens. You've already checked them. I'll double check them all anyway afterwards. Right, let's carry on going. We've got a question from Captain. There's another one there. But another army centenary. Question from Captain Coin Man. Great hunt. My question is, I hear a lot of coin tubers say that the UK definitive shield design is due a facelift. So if you had to say on design, what would you put on them and why? Hmm. Is this related to the whole series or just the 50p? I mean, the shield in the grand scheme of things hasn't been around for long at all, so. There's Shakespeare histories. So I personally don't see it getting changed anytime soon. I may well be wrong. Oh, nice. Another couple of different commemoratives. There's the Rugby World Cup from 1999. And we've got DNA double helix as well. One of my favorite designs. Again, a fairly common one. Um, but yeah, how about, if you're talking about the whole series, um, from penny to 50 pence, 
How about some British wildlife? That'd be good. Um, but I don't really necessarily see it changing anytime soon. If you're just talking about the 50p, let's just get another iteration of Britannia. Let's get a Britannia hunting through some coins. <laughs> Yeah, you have to wait and see, I guess. What would you guys like to see on the definitive coinage if it was all changed? There's another army centenary, stack of those today. We've got a few more bags here to go. A couple of keepers so far, nothing to shout about. And none of the three that we need to complete our collection. Still looking for the Commonwealth Games Wales the uh, London Olympic Centenary and the King James Bible. All tricky to find. Nothing in that bag and we are on to the final one. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching this far if you did. Nothing else in that one. Is that a bit of damage on that one? Hmm. Potentially it's been struck through a bit of debris when the coin's been struck. I'll have a close look at that afterwards. Yeah, I'll have to have a close look at that one. But thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Some more coiny goodness. Smash that thumbs up. See ya.